What's going on everybody? Tax Reduction 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial will be on the OptiFine mod, and what this mod does exactly is, the main feature of it is it will reduce the lag of Minecraft and increase your frame rate. You can also customize the look of Minecraft to your liking and get into um, fine details of how everything has changed, like you can make certain things have fancy graphics and others not. And the GUI of this mod is really set up very nicely. So to use it, if we go ahead and hit escape and then go into options and then video settings, you'll see we have far more video settings than you normally would. So you can turn the fog, let me make this full screen here, you can turn the fog on and off. So just having it off will make it um, faster and smoother. And then we have the animations, so you can make it to where the water has no animation or dynamic animations. So if you have it to where there's no animations, the water will just be completely still. And as well as all these other animations that are within Minecraft, like fire and lava and all that sort of stuff. And then we also have the clouds. We can turn those on and off. And then um, we can change your texture pack in the game. So you just go ahead and click on texture packs and you can change the texture pack while you're playing Minecraft instead of doing it at the main menu. So that is a cool feature. And then another thing, if we go into details, we can have the clouds set at fast, fancy. So this is what I was talking about when I said you could have certain things with fancy graphics and others not. So I could have just the clouds at fancy settings or I could have just the trees at fancy settings. And another thing about the clouds is you can change the height of them. So you can see as I raise the percentage, the clouds go higher and then lower. You can turn these stars off, so if it's nighttime, there will be no stars. And uh, you can change the water to clear. Uh, the better grass, it will make it um, to where there is grass on the side of the blocks as well. So it implements the better grass mod as well. And uh, we can have the capes. If you have a cape on, you can make it to where the cape just doesn't show up. And then we have smooth biomes, and what this does is with the 1.1 update of Minecraft, it made it to where from biome to biome it would smoothly transition in the colors instead of being, um, you could see exactly where it stops at the blocks. So if you were to turn that off, you'd be able to see exactly where the biomes stop. And then if we go into other, you can change the time of day to where it's day only, default which would be, would be both day and night, and then night only and then this will do the dynamic updates you can change the weather to have it off or on like if you don't like the weather you can just have it to where it's off and that will help out a lot and you can change the resolution so here is all of the resolutions you can change the screen to when it's in full screen and then of course there is just a default so that is pretty much the um, OptiFine mod now I could make a video that goes far more into detail but this is just a quick preview for the mod since this is an installation tutorial so I now need to clean out my Minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I'll show you how to install it. okay so what you are gonna need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip or WinZip all these archiving programs will work the same so you can use whatever you prefer I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial then the only thing you're gonna need to download is the OptiFine mod itself so to download the OptiFine mod, I'll go ahead and give the link to this page in the description. Now there are four different types of um, the OptiFine mod. You have your standard, the smooth, the multi-core, the AA, and the light. And these all will tell you what they are specifically made for. Um, I did use just the standard version, so I'll go ahead and show you how to download that. And if you go ahead and click on download one, it'll take us to this page and it'll say Pre preparing download request. You just got to wait a couple seconds and then you just go ahead and click on download OptiFine 1.1 and it will automatically download. So that is how to download the mod. Now when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start, then type in percent app data percent and then go ahead and go into your roaming, then open your dot minecraft, then go ahead and open your bin, left click your minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now your bin, we will not need this anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up OptiFine. And we're going to want to put all of these files into your Minecraft jar, so the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold Control, then hit A. 
and that will highlight all of the files and then drag all of those into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Now you can go ahead and close the Optifine mod and in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called Metainf. If you do not see this folder, that's OK. Go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do see it, what you want to do is left click it, then right click it, select delete files, then hit yes and that will delete metainf. You want to make sure you're always deleting metainf when you install a mod. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash the next time you try to open it. So after you delete metainf, you can go ahead and close the Minecraft jar and that is it. You're done installing the mod. So that is a very simple, quick and easy installation for this mod. So I hope this video helps you guys out. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.